What up, YouTube? I'm still in my post-Christmas glow. I've been playing some Dwarf Fortress today, and I'm going to continue on. The last thing that happened, we had a very successful Kraden... I'm not going to re-record this, but I did just mess up the intro. First time in a long time. Hundreds of videos, never a mistake. We had a very successful trade operation. Maybe the best trade deal in the history of trade deals. We ended up with a rock salt piano. I'm very proud and excited by it. We sold a few of our gems, but who needs gems, dude? We're here for the music. We also got a brand new band of migrants, and we started our own militia. Well regulated. These, these colors don't run. Thin rock line. You know what I'm saying? What else can I say in the intro to get me demonetized? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's play some fucking Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> what a bad YouTube intro. Oh, I hope you liked it. Okay, the good news, we have a Nimrek. The bad news, I don't know if any of my homies have any musical talents. But it seems that when we click on the Nimrek, we can... Can we not assign someone to play it? A finely crafted rock salt Nimrek. The keyboard is made from bismuth bronze. The case is made from rock salt. The bells are made from crystal glass. It is spattered with water. Why? The Nimrek is a large stationary stone musical instrument above which hang 56 glass bells. The musician uses a metal keyboard to select which of these bells are struck. Okay. Wait. Oh, no. You go to the bar to assign the musician. Right here. Yeah, the performer. And then this should tell me if there's any... We have a master musician, the Italian dude? And we have a legendary dancer? Wait, why do we have so many... Fuck hunting, dude. We have enough food. You are now my performer. Let's get the dancer in there, too. Your, your job is making lie? Who gives a shit? We, wait, we have a bard and a dancer? I want to see it happen in real time. Is this him? He's listening to poetry? No. He's socializing? No. Dance for me. <laughs> We've got too many puppies. Uh, it's a stray puppy. Is there a button that says like... How... How do I say this without being weird? I need to get rid of the puppies. There's got to be a button, right? There's got to be one button. I don't have to click on every puppy. I don't know if I have a strong enough will to click on every puppy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not a button, but a trigger. Mark for butcher. Euthanize in the animal area. The animal area. The animal area way up here. Uh, this one? That can't be right. Okay, we might be killing puppies, but there's just too many of them. There's just too many puppies. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. There's an animal menu? Of course there is. Of course there is. I would be down to just fix them, if you know what I mean. Where the hell is the animal menu, dude? Fix them, you know, fix them. I can fix them. Ah, cre creatures is not right. <laughs> is it? There's no dogs here. Go to the Z status screen, uh, then the animal status screen. Select the animals and plus Z. Animals. That's not right. Z status screen. I don't know about that. Pets livestock? Ah, pets and livestock. Perfect. Okay. Toggle whether this creature will receive hunting training. Oh, that's hype. Toggle whether this creature will receive war training? Assign someone to this creature. We do have a master trainer. <laughs> but I don't want to use him. Wait, wait, wait. Where were we? Pets, livestock. I would like to just fix the animal. That's it. That's it. I don't need any more animals. I don't necessarily need to slaughter. <laughs> if you have an animal trainer, those are dope. You can make some animals work for you. I do have an animal trainer. But I don't... <laughs> we have just so many stray puppies. Uh, 
There's no, there's no fix option. You know? <laughs> it's the beast thing for the 14 months. I don't want to kill them. I don't want, I don't want to. Wait. Gelded at a farmer's workshop. Oh, there is one. Oh. How come they can't all be gelded? A farmer's workshop? Okay, so we need to... Let's click all these. We're, we're not... We're an agriculture... Or we're plant-based economy. Okay, great. Perfect. And then... Yeah, all the men will be gelded. But we need a farmer's workshop. Do I not have that? Workshops? Farming? Vermin catcher. Capture and train small animals here. Farmer. Process plants and work with livestock here. Do I not have a farming plot? I must. I Elon Musk. I don't? What the hell is this room also? I have a second ho a meeting hall. <laughs> That's a hospital. Uh, don't gelder the donkeys. Why? I don't think I need donkeys. Can I use them later? Pets and livestock. Stray donkey. Stray billy goat. We'll keep the goats too. It's really just the dogs that I'm fucking not happy about. Water buffaloes are fine. Billy goats are fine. Yeah, it's just the fucking dogs. Oh, we have a piglet. That's cute. I can't believe we clickbaited a Valorant video as Nintendogs when it was this Door Fortress episode all along. Uh, okay. I think that's mules. That's fine. Whatever. I just I just need the, the farmer stand. Let's just chill for one second, Mundo. Build the farmer stand. Wherever we want it to be. I mean, honestly, fuck this hospital. Who gives a shit? Reason. We have a new hospital. Yeah, I'm actually completely destroying this zone. Remove this zone. Pick this table up. Talk with the dump status. No, I don't want to dump. I want to uh, dis dismantle or whatever. What's the right button? Remove. Here. Remove. Here. Actually, keep a chest. I don't give a shit. Build. Workshops. Farmer. Farmer. It's also cool because it's right next to... It's right next to the field. And we will make it out of date palm logs. Wow. Damn, that's a lot of puppies. Maybe we will train the dogs to be war hounds. It's kind of hype. All right, he's uh, he's going to geld these dogs. Wait, he's doing it. Who's who's the gelder? We we have a master animal trainer somewhere and I should find him. <laughs> I should I, it's crazy if we have anyone who's not the animal trainer doing it. <laughs> uh, how, where where are you, Mr. Animal Trainer? Hunter Potter wax worker. What's the color of animal trainer? Beekeeper, cook, milker. This guy's a farmer? He's a novice milker, a novice wood burner. Why is having too many dogs a bad thing? I don't like watching them run around my fortress, dude. I got things to do. Don't geld all of them. All right, I won't geld one. I just, I, I feel like I'm going to get overrun. I straight up feel like I'm going to get overrun by these dogs. That's all I'm trying to tell you. You will want some to stay as when you go to war, you will lose them. Right. All right. This big dog, you're not going to get gelded. Uric McUric faces dog will not get gelded. Cancel spin thread needs unrotten hair wool body part. Okay, great, 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 great. That's fine. Sorry, we were looking for our master animal man. Wood burner, soap maker, chief medical dwarf, tavern keeper, dancer, bard, child, peasant. We have a little... There we go. Master animal trainer. Miguel the Miner. <laughs> what a misnomer. A sign. Wait. Workers. Miguel. Oh, I guess if we want to make cheese, we don't want it to be just Miguel. Wait, why is Miguel not even showing here? Because he's an animal trainer, not a talented milker or cheese maker. What? What? Alright, fuck it. Any oh, this guy's a gelder! <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy's a whole job. Okay, great, great, great. Keep doing the thing. I did mouse over him, but he didn't have any relevant skills, it said. It just said animal trainer. So I don't know if I want him to be the, the person. Also, there's other things you can do at a farmer's workshop. All right, that should solve our dog issues. Let us now solve our housing issue. We got a housing crisis in this country. I know we can't spin thread, dude. I, I understand. Uh, and we're going to squall that with continuing on this. We're just going to go all the way down because we might as well. Amazing. And then we'll have stairs on all these. And then we'll just go one level down and build all a nice little area around here. Whoops. A nice little area around here, he said. Two on each side. Two on each side sounds good. Cute. And then from on this rock, we will build our squirch. I've always said that. Shout out to the YouTube commenter who commented, this person's insufferable. Why does he just keep saying things? <laughs> a mongoose is fighting with who? The mongoose is lower. Oh, sorry. The mongoose's upper body takes the full force of the impact, bruising the muscle, jamming the left false ribs through the left lung and tearing the lung. The mongoose is having trouble breathing. Did we hunt it? Uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why is the mongoose is on the mountaintop somehow? What the fuck? Something something fishy is going on here, my friends. All right, let's get mining. Save the mongoose? Nah. Team Cobra. We struck microcline. That's not necessarily what we need. Our goal is to get ten. Look at all these dogs. Oh, why are you killing all the dogs? Dude, there's an obscene amount of puppies in my dwarf fortress. Oh, we have a baby donkey. I guess we could sell the dogs. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Also, what are our miners doing? Come on, boys. Get, get moving. Get moving. Hello? Is everyone just at church? Socialize, socialize. Dog plus cage equals weight that the trade may not have. Ah, uh, I see. Can you name the dogs? You can't name them if you're going to fucking eat them, you know? <laughs> that's, that's just all facts. Wait, did I forget to make all these bedrooms? But this person's still sleeping here? Oops. I also learned that you're supposed to, when you make bedrooms like this, you're supposed to add the walls. Because you can engrave them and make them nice and shit. Kind of cool. Did that person leave because I made it a bedroom? <laughs> Might not be theirs. The multiple buns of godsend. I kept trying to use it and I kept fucking it up. So I just stopped. That'll be a tool for another age, you know? All right. Yeah, we can't spin thread. We can't spin thread. We can't spin thread. Guess what? We can't spin thread. Okay, I get it, dude. We don't have wool. Can we shear sheep? My people are very neutral. Uh, we have not been stinking about my homies. They're still sm smelting. Uh, I need much more armor. Let's check out my squaw. So is there a quick way to see, like, what armor the squaw has? It just doesn't... The, I feel like the squad screen is not doing it for me. You know what I mean? How do I know? Equip? There's no equip button besides on each individual person. You click this. Equip. That's only one person, though. How do I know what the whole squaw has? Oh, by doing this? By selecting them all? You should be able to hover this and see what it is, though. You have to click details. Copper breastplate, copper breastplate, copper breastplate. 
Copper breastplate. We need three copper breastplates. All right, chat. Three copper breastplates. We open a work order, which is not that button. We add copper breastplate. Boom. Number three. Okay, what else do we need? Took over 20 years to get what we have now. The game is amazing. I, I talk a lot of shit for someone who's really enjoying the game. Uh, oh, we need to make more drink. Fruit or plant? Plant. I wasn't paying attention. Seven of each armor piece? Yeah, but we had four, right? That was the whole, that was the whole thing we saw. Yeah, so now we need pants. Copper pants, presumably. Seven pants, seven helm, seven glove, seven boot. Seven pants, seven glove, seven helm, seven boot. Seven pants, seven glove, seven helm, seven boot. Copper helm, seven. Copper boot, seven. What do you call copper pants? Copper greaves? Yes. Seven. Great claw, thank you for the three months. Happy holidays, my friend. Uh, breastplate, helm, greaves. I think we needed a few shieldies. Oh, this cancel got to be. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, you just selected all. I need two weapons. Boot. Did we do boot? Oh, but these aren't weapons. Aren't necessarily good. There's a difference between green and something else. Interesting. Two weapons. We'll just build them. I'll do it. Copper. We'll use spears. Dos Equis. Green is equipped. Oh, so that we they exist, but they're not equipped. Is that what I'm seeing? Details. Copper mace. Hmm, interesting. Oh, he's been assigned it, but doesn't have it? The merchants have embarked. This dwarf army will be strong, for sure. Once we get there. Make sure our brewmaster's still brewing. I feel like we're going through the drinks quickly, my friends. Is he brewing? Yeah, he's brewing. Is he a good brewer? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you better be a good brewer. Novice? One of the things I must do better is making sure that only, like, the best people are doing things. Like, for example, engraving. One thing we can do is continue to engrave shit to make the homies happier. But we don't want everyone engraving. We want only the engravers engraving. Damn, this church do be growing. I'm also very, very worried about the religion. They're praying to Nifith. They're meditating on death. Ugh. What are my miners doing? Who's who's mining? This worker is specialized and will only do tasks that match their workshop assignment or details. Quit the toggle. This worker is not specialized and will do any free task. Whatever. I just want my miners to be mining for once. What are my miners doing? He's meditating on treachery? <laughs> so it's gray. He's praying. He's, oh, forging. Oh. On one run, I got lucky and had a legendary engraver migrate in the first wave. Masterwork engravings everywhere. That's cool. This praying is much too much. Is there a way to search for your best engraver? That would be, that would be quite a cool thing to do. Like using hotkeys. There probably is. You can have your miners only mine by clicking the green button. I had that. This one, right? But the problem is... Oh, the problem is... Uh, they might have to do other things. I think you replaced the stairs with normal mining before. What? Oh, you're right. I fucked it. You're actually so right. I overrode it. That explains everything. Now they should do it. Yeah, they're literally already working on it. I just replaced the stairs. <laughs> My bad. There's some amazing Dwarf Fortress stories and comics out there from years past. They're a good source for understanding what can happen in this game. Yeah, they're awesome. I actually got started with RimWorld comics. That's what kind of got me into this type of game. 
And so now that I know that that happens in Dwarf Fortress, to a even bigger level, I think it's pretty cool. All right, what I want to do is have an engraver. Wait, is a stone cutter different than an engraver? For example, is smoothing? Is smoothing different than engraving? Probably got COVID for Christmas, so thank you for the Dwarf Fortress content. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> this is all working out. You get COVID, I get a sub. Wait, sorry, they're different. Stone cutting is s smoothing. Oh, a boyer? That's a person who makes bows? Is that true, actually? Hmm. I need someone who's just, like, doing nothing. Let's just turn someone into a master engraver. Fuck it. What about Hengus Bunger? What do you think Hengus fucking Bunger is up to? Hengus. He's a beekeeper. Wood burner, paper maker. There's an engraver job right next to stone cutters. Yeah, I, I saw it, but I um, I wanted to make sure we have like novices. I want to make sure they're not doing other things. Like this guy's a metal crafter. That's probably more important. Do you know what I mean? But the boyer, actually, the boyer's decent at both. He's gonna be my engraver. What's his name? Oh, wait, there's two. Tony Parker. And f yeah, Tony Parker. All right, Tony Parker, you're my engraver. Tony Parker, your only job is engraving. And you only engrave. Where did Tony go? Well, you you only engrave and you and you and you smooth. Only selected does this. So now, if I just start engraving, wait, something just happened with my chief medical dwarf, and I, I wasn't paying attention. Oopsies. So now, oh look at all that rock I had. I'm gonna fucking scream. If I smooth and engrave, only he will do it. Correct. Should we find out? <laughs> Should we find out? <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I'm... I'm having a heart attack. Ignore me. Only he should do this. Come here, Mr. Parker. Where's Tony? That's not Tony. Let's follow him. Tony, where, where are you at? Tony, you're sleeping? Tony, we have work to do, bud. You're just, wait, I don't even see him sleeping. Oh, there he is, he's right here. <laughs> How long are you gonna sleep, bud? Bud, you have two pets. You have two pets and a child, you have to work. You must work, here we go. He's engraving. We've done it. Tony Parker will be the greatest engraver this side of fucking... This side of... Th this side of... The finger of will. <laughs> uh, amazing. Okay. Great. We struck some more resources. This guy's not gonna spin thread. Yeah, I get it. We're not gonna spin thread. Oh, I'm going up instead of down. What we must do now, they're still cutting out the stairs. I mean, mayhaps dig deeper. In the meantime, oh, we wanted more dormitories out of here. That was a thing. So while they keep delivering, we keep dormitorying like this. This, this, I think we need a, a decent amount of new rooms. Uh, actually, this one will be a hallway. And then if this is this, and this is this, this will be the hallway. This, 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 this. Look at all my new rooms. That's got to be enough for now, right? This guy became a bone carver? The elves aren't gonna like this. Okay. Okay. He's 72 years old, let him rest. No, 72 is young. 72 is super young. <laughs> he drew a picture of an eggplant on the floor. 
<laughs> so sick, dude. What did you put on the wall? What'd you put on the wall, bud? An image of two table cut gems? Amazing. What, are, what do you think these people are sad about? That's kind of something I'm interested in. Mauve? Picking up equipment because they went in the rain, almost assuredly. Annoyed when caught in the rain. Dude, the rain is actually the biggest cuck in this game. <laughs> the rain ruins literally everything. What's up, Yard the Internet Gangster? The spears have been completed. How is my army going? None of, they don't really have their shit on. I, I'm going to watch, after I do this, sometime, I'm going to watch a video on how to get, like, a dwarven army going. They, 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 because this just doesn't seem to be going right. Let's make some copper boots while we're thinking about it. Copper boots. Copper, we probably don't even have enough copper. Oh, it's not called boots. What do you call feet of copper? Armor? Are there wars in this game? Is there a neighboring dwarf city you can attack? I think the dwarves are my friends. I would attack goblins or elves or humans. Wait, greaves? I thought greaves were pants. Higher low boots? Isn't it low boot? <laughs> I don't know, man. You tell me. Copper. What's, a high, what's the difference between a high boot and a low boot? Uh, I think greaves is pants. Seven. Yeah, but wouldn't, why would you guys all say low when we want high? We want the high tops. I want the high tops for shirzy worzies High boot covers your shins? Yeah, what if I take a shot to the shins? Builds, furniture, door. Just kidding. Build, door, door. I forgot to click the thing that says keep building. I'm such a goof. Door, keep building. Oh, I did click it. Uh-huh. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have given them not a shared wall, because then they could each have their own engravings if I needed it, you know? My people should get working on more doors at this point, too. I think that's how it works. I have, like, a set order to make sure I have enough. Bed. Bed. Like, I think I always have 10 beds, which means I can only build 10 rooms at a time before someone has to get working. I should probably up that to 20. Maybe make the stockpile bigger. We're one bed short. Um, but the good news is, if I really want to get crazy with it, I can build, like, a downstairs here and all the people are close. I put low on my archers for more mobility. Oh, is that true? High is greater than low for melee guys. These guys are definitely melee guys, dude. They love mango. My city once fell because my cooks resurrected shrimp from the dead and it became a zombie shrimp plague. <laughs> Don't even know what that means, my friend. <laughs> Plus two. Thank you. I love when I play nerd game and I also get, like, my favorite stream nerd streamers... Chats. When we get the Germa slash Northern Lion plus two, that's that good shit. That's that that's that dopamine rush that we need. Okay, let's make these bedrooms. Well, there's no beds yet. Is there an end goal of this game? The end goal is to have fun, but you want to be a mountain home. You want to be the king of the dwarves, presumably. Let's try multi. I think this is working. It's because it's overwriting. Oh, you select the inside and it gives you the outside. Let's see if this works. Okay. That didn't work at all. Oh, it did work. Oh, amazing. Fuck yeah. There's just no bed there. There are various end game S challenges you can choose to do, but it's 100% sandbox. Yeah, it's to have fun. Wooden doors have been completed. Yeah, the, the thread is really upsetting me, but what are you going to do? I wouldn't mind smoothing this, but my I have only one engraver. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, lay, lay, lay. I only have one engraver, and he's quite slow. 
And I gave him a ton of work to do over here. Where's Tony? Tony, are you sleeping on the job again? No job? That's not true. That's not true at all. No I finished up work? Where'd he go? Tony. Tony. Detail wall. Oh, now he's back. Something's fishy here. Something's fishy about old Tone. Big Tone. Uh, how would we built our kitchen last time? Are we still making easy meals? These are prepared meals. We have muscle biscuits. Interesting. This guy became a carpenter. Amazing. Do you have two Tonys? Maybe. Maybe. Imagine this game with RTX on. This is with RTX on. Dude, RTX off is ASCII. You guys would love to see it. Uh, I'm going to stop this thread. Whoops. Because the thread is actually pissing me off. Spin thread. Is there a way to pause? Of course. Just delete. Oh, and then we've thread in the cloth will also be one we have to get rid of. Because we don't have any. Yeah, I can make it a condition on, like, if I have thread weave into cloth. But I'm kind of silly. What's up, Team F? All right, Tony's back to work. Image of floodgates. Ooh, rendition of the boulder of adventures. An exceptionally designed image of a dwarf. All right, he's getting better at engraving. That's fantastic. Beds have been completed. Hopefully, they'll get brought down here soon. I can put my last bed. Furniture. Bed. Boop. And then I can make this a bedroom. Done. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing an ASCII, that's for sure. Danny, thank you for the 14. Tavern is hype. Uh, I could probably use some more resources, so let's get The thing is, I think the resources should be around here. This is Cinnabar. Is this not is this not juicy? That's not juicy. Cinnabar's not juicy. Wow, the more you fucking snow. Nothing juicy here. Oh, there's tons of juice here. Here we go. Here we go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Any juice here? A little bit of juice? Any juice here? No juice. Any juice here? No juice. We must dig deeper. All right, as the dwarves say, nothing wrong with digging deep. Am I right? One, two. Let's go on a negative 20. Fuck it. Let's do it. I feel like that's where the sauce starts happening, you know? Hope this doesn't kill me and all my dwarves. <laughs> Must dig deeper. I don't see anything bad coming from this. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, tetrahydrite's exactly what I needed. BT dubs. Oh no! You have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Yo? Open space, huh? There's no way there's a stinky boy down here. Oh, it's... Oh, it's actually like deep because this is just the ceiling. What's the bottom look like? <gasps> what the fuck? Fungi wood? There's a tree down here. Oh, no, a tower cap. It's a mushroom. Where's the bottom? Oh, my God. We're not even close to the bottom. There's a tower tap cap. Wait, there's, like, grass down here? Floor fungus. Holy shit. What a cavern. I hope there's no monsters in here. Down to negative 51. That is a lot of cool shit. I wonder if I can get the shroomies. But what we need to learn, oh my god, is where our stairs go. Our stairs are to the sky, which is not helpful for us. Let's not explore the cavern, so to squeak. But I am down to auto mine some of that if there if it exists. Some of that if it exists. Some of that if it exists. That'll give us some more marble. Okay. You can set up a tavern with an inn for adventurers to explore the caverns. That's pretty hype. 
get back moving. My people do have to go quite far. Are we still smelting, by the way? Tetrahydralite. Wait, why is this... Four... Wait. Wait, no. Wait, is the fungus attacking? Oh, no. Why is there so much fungus now? Is this bad? It grows on dirt, but it's only growing since I've been to the bottom. It's new. The spores have invaded. Animals can eat it? Oh, that's hype. It just starts growing when exposed. Dude, you're saying like I shouldn't be scared about spores. My people are getting fungal floored. Cancels expedition, that's fine. Struck a bunch of shit, that's fine, it's fine. What are you guys working on down here? Mining, mining, mining. The spores from the caves allows your underground dirt to be used for grazing. Oh, that's cool, so I don't have to have my animals up in the rain anymore. I dig that. Tetrahydrate, that's what I really want. Tetrahydrate's how I'm gonna make more copper shit. Let the dogs eat the fungi, true. Okay, you're saying you think we should welcome our new spore overlords, but there's actually mushroom people in this game. I saw a screenshot once. A literal fucking mushroom person. <laughs> they were crazy. <laughs> okay. We've dug deep. This guy's still engraving. That's hype. Some of my people are Madge. Why are they Madge? Oh, it's... Guess who? Guess fucking who? Because they're in the rain. Almost assuredly. Yeah. Those would probably be plump helmet men. They're completely harmless. That's what they want you to think. What are you, a fucking plump helmet man? Okay, we're getting up there on drink. We're getting up there on food. We're fine. What did I say I wanted? A fashion industry? Sorry, I just got so caught up in all this ore and finding this cavern. It's probably very important. Is he hauling? Oh, he's, he's going to smelt the ore. Oh, he's taking it from all the way down there. Get a wheelbarrow, dude. Uh, we want a fashion industry to make our people happier. I heard that if you give them nice clothes, if you give them the American blue jeans, we can win the culture war. You know what I'm saying? And that's what my goal is. Ladies and gentlemen, pre-rolls are about to turn on on Twitch, twitch.tv slash stand. So I'm going to run a two-minute ad. We'll take a little vibe break. I'll talk to the chat. And then I'll be back with more Dwarf Fortress. If you're watching on YouTube, just, just fast forward two minutes if you want. Or come check it out on Twitch sometime. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, a classic Civ reference? I do love Civ. It's a good game. Expand the textile industry. What could go wrong? No, that's what I'm saying. But on the what could go wrong, nothing could go wrong. It seems like everything will be perfect, you know? I haven't noticed the dogs as much, but maybe I haven't been watching like my main area. Just watch Slice and Dice vid. Sick game. Was it free? Uh, no, I think it was $7. $7? Couldn't tell you. I think instead of... Wait, to engrave, you have to smooth. So he's doing smoothing and engraving right now, right? I wonder if we should have just smoothed. This engraving is a little bit brutal. Milk quartz? My favorite kind of quartz. Oh, please don't fall into the pit. If my legendary miner falls into the pit, I will kill myself in Dwarf Fortress. Look how fast he mines. Oh my lord, he's a fucking savant. But why are we even mining milk cores? They're not they don't seem to be getting anything. Hmm. Hmm. Charcoal completed. More stuff. How long have I been playing Dwarf Fortress? I don't know, a week. This is video number you guys can tell me. Ten maybe? It's on my gaming channel. Opened up the cavern. Well, we'd already opened up the cavern with our stairs, no? We opened up the cavern right here. But 
we didn't open up the bottom of the cavern, so it's fine. As long as we don't, and this is my pitiful understanding of it, as long as we don't open up to the floor, what's going to happen? You might want to close off all exits from the cave to your base. There can be a lot of flying fun stuff there. Oh, is that true? Peglin got another update? We'll have to try that this week for sure. Like, this is, there's a hole here. It's fine. They can't, they, no one's going to, what, is there some kind of monster that's going to, like, jump? No shot. There's no jumping monsters in this game. <laughs> that cavern is crazy. The cavern is actually scaring me a little bit. It's scaring me some kind of way. Good thing nothing can fly or climb. Yeah, exactly. You guys got it. What is this guy doing? No job. Sergeant Lolo. He's our diagnostician. He's an adequate stone cutter. Maybe I can get him on smoothing too. What was his name? Sergeant Lolo. I'll put him on as a stone cutter. Do it. But we have no smoothing going on yet. Even though we need to smooth all of this, my friend. Was that, was that Sergeant Lolo? He just went to sleep. No, he's smoothing the floor. Oh, no, he's just in bed with another dwarf. That's normal. That's super, super duper normal. Super duper normal. That's fine. Our people seem happy. We have plenty of resources. Stuff flying or climbing is a lie that the mushroom people want you to believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about stuff climbing or flying from these caverns that I've unearthed. I just don't think that that is a very reasonable fear. You know what I mean? This cave is my manifest destiny. Okay, so this is the central hub of my base. This is more dorms down here. Ooh, a visitor? Stob Spoxamu, a jaguar woman? Are there furries in this game? Where did she go? Is it this? What the fuck? Stob Spox Magaxu. A 45 year old jaguar woman. She's a competent axeman. She'd be a good fighter. Think I can recruit her to my army? Where'd she go? Let's follow her around. Shit, I lost her. Shit. Where did she go? Do you guys see a jaguar woman around here? <laughs> Is she single? <laughs> uh, excuse me? She blends in. Near the edge of the mountain? You can follow her. You, others. Oh, others. Ah, there she is. Thank you. I do want to follow her. Just see what she does. I can't see shit. Oh, there she is. What do you think she's going to do? <laughs> if any of you look like this, DM me. We can't plant seeds. We don't have plump helmet spawn. Shit. Did I accidentally use my plump helmet spawn in cooking or something? We weren't supposed to. Keep walking, lady. Hold. Hold. I didn't even know Jaguar Woman existed. She might be interested in hunting in your underground cavern. Is she going to my tavern? I thought my tavern was closed. No activity? Feel free to take some puppies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I could open the tavern to outsiders. I've never done that. What's up, Sammy? Hopefully she likes all these engravings. She came for the caverns to slay beasts. Wait, is that facts? Where does it say that? This visitor has come to relax and to slay beasts. She heard this was a good place to search for monsters. Oh, fuck. Okay, that means if people are going to come to the caverns and slay beasts, we have to open the tavern to the homies. We must. All visitors welcome. I'll even welcome the hospital to all visitors. Oh, that's why she's chilling in the hospital, because there was nowhere else for her to go. <laughs> Dude, let's watch her slay a beast. 
Babalad. Thank you for the tier one. Oh, uh, yeah, but I changed it. I changed it to not open. Oh, is she going to go in the cavern straight up? I hope she doesn't wake up some kind of eldritch horror. Is the cavern accessible? Absolutely not. <laughs> it is not accessible. Oh, she's in the tavern. <laughs> so she's just going to do nothing? She was satisfied after getting into an argument. That's hype. Daniel, are you cringing because I saw your, your freestyle? I thought it was good. Hold. She's attending a meeting. <laughs> hey, I got the shirt on, baby. That's what reminded people, actually, I think. She'll do nothing and then leave after a while if she can't get there. Oh. Is she going to go to church? They usually just drink in the cavern. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> it's funny that we've this stream has just turned into watching this cat woman. Hennessy, thank you for the prime. Hold. Someone was born? An animal grew up to become a stray dog? Yeah, no shit. Every time. This guy became a brewer. I love that. Oh, no, no. People love the freestyle. <laughs> she did go to Snurch. You should make a gate to the ground level of the cavern. Should I? I feel like that's actually going to kill me. Oh, a bard is visiting. That's hype. Now we have a ton of visitors. Oh! <gasps> She's going for it. Oh, look at all the fun guy. Oh, no, she's leaving. Oh, she's leaving. <laughs> Get out of my bedroom. Wait, this isn't a bedroom. This is an office. A petition. Stob Gaze Showered wishes to reside in Crystal Cloister for the purpose of eradicating monsters. <gasps> Do we want to allow Catwoman to live here? Yeah, first time. I think we should. Let's let Stob in. A free monster hunter? Yeah, I think Stob should be allowed to live with us. I'm a big Stob fan, huh? God, Crystal Cloister is such a cool name for a fucking city that I didn't create. So many things in this game are generated, like, randomly or programmatically or whatever it is. And they're all so cool. Gotta build a flood or collapsing ceiling trap to truly be safe. Ah. Okay. Okay. Approve. She's in. She lives in my city. So she is now a, a citizen. How do we find her? Right there. A jaguar woman. She's a monster slayer. Oh, that's a job? That's so sick. She has a silver halberd. You can't make silver weapons. An iron shield. A large hemp skirt. Chain legging. Sheep wool dress. Male shirt. Bronze helm. Gloves. Gauntlets. Socks. Dude, she seems like a goaded monster hunter. Holy shit. Oh, we have no more logs for charcoal. Let's go up to the surface real quick. Should be some trees we can cut for sure. There we go. Let's get those logs in. Mr. Wibot. Thank you for the prime. Was not expecting the Stan's Dwarf Fortress collab today. I'm going to tell you, this is like stream number 10. For those of you that are new here and are enjoying my noob... Door Fortress gameplay. You can watch me play it from the beginning on that channel. Which I think is even more fun. Because I make a lot of mistakes. Okay, we have a monster hunter. We would like to... It'd be fun for her and the squad to go down. I think I need gloves and mittens. How come this is the only person with it equipped? I need shields too. Copper shields, mayhaps? Let's make some copper shields. Leather quiver. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Copper shield. Seven. If you ain't making mistakes, you ain't playing Dwarf Fortress. Yeah. I'm trying to. I think there's probably also other ore that I can, like, smelt. Like, it seems like we have hella silver. But our person's so busy with Tetra Highlight or whatever. So we should build a second smelter. Almost assuredly, we should build a second smelter. Let's expand. Oh, all. This way. 
needs wood to make charcoal. Yeah, we got to get that wood done. Are my people chopping out here? Yeah, this guy, this guy's... No. Is anyone chopping wood? Uh, oh! Oh, shit! Squarfer, the brewer, has been possessed? That means he's going to make some cool shit, no? Squarfer. That's hype. Squarf me. He's purple. He's not purple. What the fuck? What was his name? I wish the nicknames worked better. That's a good thing? Yeah, they're possessed to make some cool shit, as far as I know. I can't find him. Uh, but I'm still new to this game. Okay. Meditating on rebirth? You and me both, queen. He's gone? Where the hell did Squirfer go? Is that you? No. I just wanted to make more metal shops smelter. He's orange? Oh, he was orange? Sorry. Ah, there he is. Yeah, strange mood. He's been possessed. Possessed by unknown forces. Let's follow him. Let's see what he does. What the hell does he look like? Is this him? No, it's Cynthia Owo. Is this him? No. <laughs> is this him? No. Yes! He's making something here. Ooh. He began a mysterious construction. Hold. It's the best when kids get possessed because they basically become legendary before they're of age. That's cool. Fort feels empty without the gentle bitter patter of puppies walking around. Relax. <laughs> Come on, Squarfer. You can do it, buddy. Make your thing. Squarfer Brewer cancels drink. Yeah, taken by mood. Yeah, yeah, of course. Make your thing, bud. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. People are mad because he's hogging the station. Squarther Othendurst, the brewer, has created Thescoatl, a native gold scepter. She offers it to the mysterious robes. Oh, is this one of the religions? Oh, no. It's a religion thing? Oh, fuck me. Another bard is visiting. Where'd it go? Give me... Show me the scepter. Show me the scepter, dude. Um... How do I see it? Stockpiles? Whoa. This is a native gold set. 13,000?! This is a native gold scepter. All craft stewardship is of the highest quality. This object is adorned with hanging rings of native gold. Oh. Wait, who did he give it to? Follow it. Follow the item. It's, it can't just be sitting in my fucking stockpile. Under your objects menu, there's an artifact tab. Objects. Artifacts? Furniture? Display. Ah, uh, you can display artifacts, maybe? Objects, artifacts? Where's objects? I'm sorry, am I silly? It's like the Ark of the Covenant. It's in a warehouse. It's objects here? No. I meant menu stuff. No, I, I know what you mean. It's on the same screen as nobles. Nobles. Ah, objects. Whoa. Treasure of the mysterious robes. I've been known to blow some mysterious robes. Is that a religion of my people? <laughs> Is it? The mysterious robes. Let's check my churches. Hold. Is this a mysterious robes church? Hold. Youthful Shrine. No, this is the Cult of Spring. 13,000. Do you think if I sell his holy object, he would be mad at me? Because 13,000 is a lot of fucking squeesh. She offers it to the mysterious ropes. How do I see my religions again? How do I see... Oh, we wrote a book. 
How do I see my religions again? Shift O also brings you to the objects page, really? Oh, that's cool. Uh, I know there's a way to do it, because I did it when I saw the churches. I can click on this, presumably. No. I'm too dumb. Damn, that was cool as hell. Copper shield's done. Wait, does that mean my homies should have shields now? Yes. Or they can't have shields now? Kovia, thank you for the four months. I just want to know where this artifact is. Uh, yeah, I, try, I tried to download that mod to put hotkeys on these, but I couldn't figure it out. Or I didn't, I didn't do it. Maybe because I already started this save. What do I do with the staff? I think I'm going to put the staff in this room. Sorry, not an offering place. Build. Furniture. Display. I need a display. No access to display objects. Let's make a display. Make a display case. Don't need 10. Two is fine. Hold. Bets on how long it's there before someone steals it. We do need to adjust this system, huh? This guy became a furnace operator. Don't we already have a charcoal, a wood burner? Come on, man. We don't need this. See ya, Dexco. Damn, that's hype as hell. Cancel store item and barrel. Job item misplaced. Need plant logs? Needs plant logs? Plant logs? Dude, are we not cutting trees? Do we have no tree cutters in our fucking base? Uh, this, is, this is very important. Labor. Wood cutters. Wait, do I actually have no wood cutters? <laughs> I don't. Do I have some people who don't do shit? Like a potter, you can be a woodcutter. A milker, a mason, a hunter, goose the hunter, you can be a woodcutter. Pope the farmer, you can be a woodcutter. Is there a reason for putting that many staircases on one spot? Yeah, you, the people... If two people are trying to use a staircase, it'll slow them down. Dude, this fungus is actually infiltrating my base and I'm a little worried about it. I do need to cut some trees. If the people don't start cutting trees, I will be cringing. I hit the right button, right? What are you doing? Storing an item? He's hauling raw mussels. I guess I just have to say those people should do nothing but cut trees, right? Otherwise, we're fucked. Did someone say there was a peasant down here? There was. Oh, mob, but she's a fighter. And a hauler. You have no meat. Is that bad? Ah, I got fish. I got seeds. We're good. Do you have access for tree cutting? I might not actually have access for tree cutting because I might have used them for my militia. Wait, what are you doing? Is you hauling? He's fishing. Let me make, <laughs> let me make some axes. Copper, ah, oops, axe. Blade, no, I don't want to make a blade and a handle. Not a battle axe. Metal axe, blade, iron axe, blade. Do we have to do it? Is there a handle? Wadi, thank you for the prime. I don't want a battle axe. I guess I'll do blade axe handle. How do you do it? I'm losing it. I'm straight up losing it. Hmm. Is there a different name for this? No one is chopping. Lots of meditating, lots of socializing. The axe blade is for traps. You don't need to build axes in pieces. Battle axe is correct. Oh, battle axes cut trees? That's crazy. I'm in. Oh, copper. Copper, battle axe. Oh, uh, we can make 10. I'm down with 10. Move it up the list. Dude, there's some fungi growing up here. I think you guys are lying to me about... You guys keep telling me the fungus is safe. The fungus is safe, but... 
I'm a little worried here, man. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Something seems a little off. We got a lot of fungi. Completely safe. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Damn, this guy is going to be the world's best smoother. He's only competent right now. Yeah, yeah, it's safe. It's safe. It's safe. Ladies and gentlemen, has this video already gone an hour? YouTube frogs, you guys have been eating. You got to see Izum Ficodurum grow to become an ew. You got to see the golden scepter of whatever it was. Too much. Too much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this video. If you want to check out the earlier videos, if you want to keep up with the lore, sometimes there's videos that are YouTube exclusives. That is, I don't play them on Twitch at all. And you can find all that at youtube.com slash standsbutgaming. I'm ending this video right now. I'm going to be staying live on Twitch for a little bit. But no more dwarfy dwarfy. I will be back after this ad. BRB. I forgot to hit stop recording. So now YouTube just said to watch me play the ad. <laughs>